What's up guys? Nick here back at again with another video. Today we're with Alex. We've got my brother-in-law Riley behind the camera. He's helping out with BTS today. Today we're shooting Hayden's S4. All of the links will be in the description below, so go ahead and give him a follow. Check out Alex. Check out Riley. He doesn't post anything, but you know, maybe you could shoot him a follow anyways, make him feel a little good. Today I figured that we would do something a little bit different, but besides just a regular BTS. Uh, we're going to kind of be walking you guys through how I run my photo shoots. Uh, I've been getting a lot of comments lately and DMs asking how I do it. And people think that it's super easy, but I still don't even know entirely what I'm doing. So I'm going to kind of just walk you guys through how we run our photo shoots. And that's going to be the video. So we'll see you in a little bit. Got the uh, 3514 on. We're just starting with some three quarter angle stuff at this location here. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know what it is, but it's got this real nice overhang, so we just had them hard park here in the center uh, at a little bit of an angle, and we're mainly just going to be doing some quick walk arounds of the car, probably going to end up flipping it around for the back to get some back shots, uh, no pun intended. Got some more detail shots, more of the three quarter angle from the rear. That's how we're taking the back shots. Um, we've got the Chromis CPL combo again on the 3514, which with this lighting here, you've got that directional lighting coming through the backdrop. So it makes for a real nice, easy kind of look behind the car. side. This here would technically be the light side of the car since you've got the light leading in from this overhang over here. So you're going to get more shadows over here, more highlights over here. Got a real nice balloon coming in from the light lighting off of the ground on these wheels here so it created a really cool effect. Um, and that's, that's about it. You know, we spent a little bit of time here but we are going to be heading off to the next spot. We've got a road that we're gonna be hitting some rollers on later, which you guys will end up seeing. I'm gonna kind of go through some of the settings that I keep my camera at when doing rollers, maybe talk about some different lighting conditions, stuff like that. Um, but for the most part, we're about to get wrapped up here, head down that way. I'm gonna get some rolling footage of the car and uh, yeah, we'll uh, come back in at the next, next spot and go over some more things. to 105 on uh, right now I'm just getting my shutter speed adjusted typically I'll keep it between 1 8th and 1 25th and then with the lack of an ND filter I just kick the f-stop up super high and since it's super sunny I just want to make it to where the sky is not blown out and the shadows aren't too dark so now we're gonna get these fucking rollers going Yeah. 
finished up Hayden's S4 shoot. Uh, this was our final spot right by the Centennial Airport. So we got some planes coming in. It was a beautiful sunset. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and wrap up the video here. I hope that you guys enjoyed. If you did so, leave a like, leave a comment, hit that subscribe button. We've got plenty more coming up. Uh, again, this is Alex. He was the second shooter on this shoot. He helped drive for rollers. So go check him out in the video description. And he shoots Nikon, so he's kind of gay. <laughs> but anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed. And we'll see you all in the next one. Later.